did you know? Order, order, order. Order in court. Yes, courtrooms have always been places of high drama. This is a place where justice is meted out, where those in the dock are placed under the most intense scrutiny, and where occasionally the guilty simply sit and wait to be sentenced. The modern system of trial by jury arguably has its roots in the Magna Carta, 1215, which states that punishments and fines shall only be imposed after an assessment on oath by reputable men of the neighbourhood. No longer did skill in combat or bribing an official mean you could avoid justice. A little known quirk of the medieval court system was that law did not only apply to humans, it applied to animals. Typically, animals on trial would be animals who had caused harm to human beings. First of all, witchcraft was a reason why animals could be legitimately put on trial, but occasionally it was simply because the animal was dangerous. The most commonly tried animal was the pig. Occasionally, for their courtroom appearance, they would be dressed in clothes and even given a human mask. In June 1494, a female sow was arrested for having strangled and defaced a young human child in its cradle. The sow was sentenced to death. Her piglets lived on. In addition to law courts were ecclesiastical courts, where bishops and other church officials would rule on cases against animals who had destroyed human property. For example, mice and even locusts who had been caught in the act of jeopardising the harvest by attacking crops. Often these animals were banished. Occasionally, in the case of mice, they were given an escort out of the region so as not to be attacked by cats or dogs. Other cases saw animals who showed no remorse sentenced to death. In 1474, a court in Switzerland sentenced a rooster to be burned at the stake for the heinous and unnatural crime of laying an egg. Now, worry not, the animals weren't entirely defenceless. In the 16th century, for example, lawyer Bartholomew Chazany was successful in stopping a trial against rats who had eaten a field of barley, arguing his clients could not appear in court because they were afraid of the village cat. Others pointed out that such creatures, created by God, had a role to play in the natural world, and after all, did need to eat. Now it might be tempting to dismiss such trials as the product of superstition and ignorance. However, they did carry on well into the 18th century. However misguided, perhaps it is admirable that animals were given due process, and not just slaughtered. And besides, next time your pet does something naughty, it might be handy to threaten them with the noose.